Hi, I'm Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to add a confidence band to a ggplot2 scatterplot using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data. And if you click on this data set, you can see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data. And as you can see, our data set contains four columns, X, Y, a lower confidence interval, and a higher confidence interval. Please note that these values are not the true confidence intervals of the corresponding X and Y values. They are just used for illustration in this tutorial. So let's assume that we want to draw our data in a ggplot2 plot. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 9 and 10 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it as you can see in line 10. And after running line 10 of the code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and geompoint as you can see in lines 12 to 13 of the code. And if you run these lines of code, a new plot object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new scatter plot, which is showing our data points. However, you can also see that this plot is not showing a confidence band corresponding to the points of our data yet. So this is what I'm going to do in the next lines of code, in lines 16 and 17 of the code. In line 16 of the code, I'm using the plot object that I have just created in the previous lines of code. And then I'm adding to this the geom ribbon function. And within this function, I'm specifying the aesthetics to be equal to our lower and higher confidence intervals. And I'm also setting the alpha to be equal to 0.2 because I want to show the confidence band with a certain opacity. So if you run lines 16 to 17 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated and this time our plot is shown with confidence band. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to add a confidence band to a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. If you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.